Ever wondered how two completely different individuals could fall head over heels for the same person? Well, prepare for a wild ride. Imagine, if you will, two masculine characters. They're as different as night and day, yet they share a common passion, a shared love interest. One might say it's the quintessential essence of a love triangle, but it goes deeper than that. It's a testament to the multifaceted nature of love, the unpredictability of human emotions, and the magnetic pull of attraction. It's not a simple case of opposites attract, no. It's more complex, more nuanced. It's about two distinct personalities, two unique ways of expressing love, and one person caught in the crossfire of their affections. It's a story that delves into the heart of human relationships and the intricacies of love. So let's dive into this intriguing world of contrasting affections, shall we? Picture this, a charismatic, vivacious individual with an irresistible charm. Meet character one. Born into a world of laughter and light, our charmer has always been the life of the party. His magnetic personality draws people towards him like bees to honey. With twinkling eyes and a radiant smile that never seems to fade, he has a knack for making people feel special. His effervescence is contagious, his spirit is infectious, and his laughter, well, it's the kind that echoes in your mind long after it has faded. He hails from a small town where he grew up in a loving family that nurtured his outgoing nature. His parents, proud owners of the local bakery, instilled in him the values of kindness and generosity. From helping his parents in the bakery to volunteering at the local animal shelter, his heart has always been as big as his charismatic personality. Now imagine this vivacious individual falling in love. Yes, our charmer is head over heels in love. And how does he show it? Well, in the most flamboyant way possible. He's the kind of lover who will surprise you with a breakfast in bed, serenade you under the stars, and sweep you off your feet with his grand romantic gestures. He's spontaneous, adventurous, and lives every moment to the fullest. But here's the thing about our charmer. Beneath his vibrant exterior is a man who loves deeply and passionately. When he falls in love, he falls hard. His love is like a whirlwind, intense and all-consuming. He's the type who would move mountains just to see his beloved smile. His reasons for falling in love? Well, they're as diverse as his personality. From the way his beloved laughs to how they treat others with kindness, every facet of their personality fascinates him. Yet there's a certain vulnerability to our charmer. He's not afraid to wear his heart on his sleeve. His love is as transparent as it is passionate. He's not one to hide his emotions, but rather, he embraces them. His love is his strength, and he's not afraid to show it. This is the charmer. Irresistible, isn't he? But wait until you meet the other side of this romantic equation. Now imagine a thoughtful, reserved, and intellectual individual. Meet Character 2. Character 2 is a bit of an enigma. He's the kind of person who could spend an entire afternoon lost in thought, contemplating the mysteries of the universe or pondering the meaning of a particularly poignant line of poetry. He's a thinker, a dreamer, a philosopher at heart. He's the kind of person who prefers the company of a good book to a noisy crowd, the kind who finds solace and inspiration in solitude. Born into a family of academics, Character 2 was encouraged to pursue his intellectual passions from an early age. He grew up surrounded by books and ideas, and this background has shaped him into the thoughtful, introspective individual that he is today. He's not just book smart, though. He has a keen understanding of people and the world around him, a sensitivity that's perhaps a little unusual in a man of his intellect. Character 2's lifestyle reflects his intellectual nature. He's a professor at a prestigious university where he inspires his students to think critically and question the world around them. He lives in a modest flat filled with books, art, and mementos from his travels around the world. His idea of a perfect evening is curling up with a good book or engaging in a deep conversation with a close friend. And then, there's his love for you. It's not the flamboyant, passionate love of Character One. Rather, it's a quiet, steady flame that burns deep within him. He fell in love with your mind, your soul. He was drawn to your intelligence, your wit, your unique perspective on the world. He loves the way your mind works, the way you see things that others don't. Expressing his feelings, however, doesn't come as easily to him. He's not one for grand gestures or poetic declarations of love. 
Instead, he shows his affection in subtle, meaningful ways. He'll remember a book you mentioned wanting to read and surprise you with it weeks later. He'll listen attentively when you speak, hanging on your every word. He'll share his deepest thoughts and ideas with you, opening up a part of himself that few people ever get to see. This is the thinker. Quite the contrast, isn't he? Now let's see how these opposites compete in the game of love. Two contrasting personalities, one love interest. Welcome to the love triangle. A love triangle, a dance of hearts, a juggling act of emotions. Here we have two individuals as different as chalk and cheese, both vying for the affection of the same person. What a predicament to be in, right? On one hand, we have the charmer, a man who knows how to make the heart flutter with his smooth words and captivating presence. He's the kind of person who can light up a room just by walking in. He's the life of the party, the center of attention, the guy everyone wants to be around. He's confident, outgoing, and isn't afraid to wear his heart on his sleeve. His approach to winning the affection of his love interest is straightforward. He showers them with compliments, surprises them with grand gestures, and makes them feel like the most special person in the world. On the other hand, we have the thinker, a man who prefers the quiet corners of the room. He's introspective, thoughtful, and deeply sensitive. He might not be the life of the party, but he's the kind of person who can hold a deep, meaningful conversation for hours. He's the one who listens, understands, and values the thoughts and feelings of his love interest. His approach to love is subtle yet profound. He tries to connect on an intellectual and emotional level, showing his love through understanding, respect, and shared experiences. As you can imagine, these contrasting approaches create a dynamic that's as fascinating as it is complex. The charmer and the thinker, both in the same orbit, circling around the same sun yet moving in entirely different paths. They interact with each other in a dance of rivalry and respect, each recognizing the other's strengths and acknowledging their own weaknesses. But it's not always smooth sailing. With two such different personalities, conflicts are bound to arise. The charmer might view the thinker as too quiet, too passive, too reserved. He might feel frustrated by his introspective nature, perceiving it as a lack of initiative or passion. On the other hand, the thinker might view the charmer as too flashy, too superficial, too focused on the exterior rather than the interior. He might find his flamboyant displays of affection overwhelming and insincere. These conflicts, these challenges, they're all part of the love triangle. They're what make it so intriguing, so unpredictable, so incredibly human. Because love isn't a straight line, is it? It's a web of emotions, a tangle of feelings, a maze of choices and consequences. Love isn't straightforward, is it? But how does our love interest respond to these vastly different affections? Now let's turn the spotlight to the person at the center of this romantic whirlwind. Picture a person, a magnet for affection, drawing in two polar opposites. They aren't just any individual. They have a unique charm that's irresistible, a kind of magnetism that draws in both the charmer and the thinker. This is our protagonist the love interest at the heart of this tale. Their background is as diverse as the two who adore them. They've lived a life of ups and downs, a rich tapestry of experiences that have shaped them into the captivating individual they are today. They're neither entirely extroverted nor introverted, a balance that attracts both the charmer and the thinker. They're a mix of the best of both worlds, a beautiful fusion that creates an irresistible allure. At the heart of this love interest's personality is a sense of adventure and curiosity, a hunger for knowledge and experience. They're a wanderer, a dreamer, and a thinker, just like the two who have fallen for them. But they're also grounded, practical and level-headed, traits that make them a stabilizing force in this romantic whirlwind. As you can imagine, being the object of affection of two different personalities isn't a walk in the park. It's a roller coaster of emotions, a journey full of confusion and self-discovery. On one hand, the love interest is drawn to the charmer's confidence, charisma, and spontaneity. They're intrigued by the thrill of unpredictability, the excitement of living in the moment. On the other hand, they're also attracted to the thinker's depth, intelligence, and introspection. They appreciate the comfort of stability, the peace of quiet moments, and the beauty of deep conversations. It's a dilemma, 
a tug of war between two contrasting affections, and our love interest is caught right in the middle. But how does the love interest respond to these contrasting affections? They're not passive, that's for sure. They're active participants in this love triangle, trying to navigate their feelings and understand the two individuals vying for their heart. They're not just torn between two lovers, but also between two versions of themselves, the thrill seeker and the introspective soul. It's a difficult situation, no doubt, but it's also an opportunity for self-discovery, a chance for the love interest to understand their desires, their fears, and their capacity for love. They're not just choosing between the charmer and the thinker. They're choosing who they want to be, who they truly are. Caught in between two contrasting affections, our love interest is certainly in a tough spot. But what happens next? As the drama unfolds, who will win the heart of our love interest? In the intricate dance of love that we've been observing, the rhythm is about to change. Our two protagonists, as different as night and day, find themselves in the throes of a drama that will test their resolve and reveal their true character. At the heart of the drama is our love interest, a beacon of hope and confusion for both the charmer and the thinker. The charmer, with his irresistible allure and magnetic personality, finds himself second-guessing his tactics. His smooth talk and easy smiles, once his strongest suit, now feels superficial. He begins to realize that love is not a game to be won, but a feeling to be nurtured. On the other hand, the thinker, ever the meticulous planner, is thrown off balance. He finds his well-crafted strategies and thoughtful gestures met with uncertainty. He begins to question whether his logical approach to love can ever compete with the charmer's spontaneous flair. As the drama intensifies, the charmer and the thinker are forced to confront their insecurities. The charmer, renowned for his charisma, begins to show vulnerability. He becomes more genuine, more open, and in doing so, becomes more attractive. He learns that love isn't about winning someone over, but about showing them who you really are. The thinker, usually so composed, finds himself navigating uncharted emotional territory. He learns that love doesn't always follow a plan. It's messy, it's unpredictable, and sometimes it's downright confusing. He learns to let go of control, to allow his feelings to guide him, to embrace the unpredictability of love. As the drama unfolds, it becomes clear that our characters are not just in love with our love interest, but also with the person they become in the process. They learn that love is not a destination, but a journey. A journey that brings out the best in them, a journey that shapes them, a journey that defines them. In the end, love is a journey, not a destination, and our characters have certainly been on quite a ride. So, who does our love interest choose in the end? The charmer or the thinker? As we draw the curtains on our intriguing love triangle, we find ourselves asking the same question. Who indeed? After all, love is not a straightforward journey. It's a winding path, full of unexpected turns and surprising revelations. Our love interest has experienced the allure of two contrasting personalities. The charmer, with his captivating allure, and the thinker, with his deep and profound insights. But the answer isn't as clear-cut as you might think. It's not about the destination, but the journey. It's about the life lessons learned the moments shared, and the person you grow to be along the way. It's about the resilience of the heart, the courage to love, and the strength to keep going, even when the path seems uncertain. Perhaps our love interest chooses the charmer, drawn to his vibrant spirit and infectious zest for life. Or perhaps they choose the thinker, captivated by his profound wisdom and thoughtful perspective. But maybe, just maybe, they choose neither. Perhaps they choose themselves, realizing that love should not be about losing oneself, but about growing and evolving. Ultimately, the choice isn't ours to make, it's the love interests. And that's the beauty of it. It's their story, their journey, and their decision. We as spectators can only speculate, reflect, and learn from their experiences. In the grand scheme of things, it's not about who they choose, but who they become in the process. It's about understanding that love is not a race, but a journey. It's not about reaching a destination, but about enjoying the ride. 
It's about embracing the complexities, the uncertainties, and the surprises that love brings. Remember, love is as diverse as the people who experience it. And as our story shows, it's not always about who you choose, but who you become in the process.